My name is Morris Epworth and I'm 67 years old. I'm married uh, to Megan and uh, we have six children, uh, three boys and three girls. I was up a couple of times during the night, you know, and I never had problem with uh, waterworks at all, ever. And uh, it was, it was just became less, the pressure was less, you know, and, and uh, I started, I got, started to get a bit of pain and um, when I was urinating, so my wife uh, said, look, you know, I think we should go and see about this. Now, prior to that, I'd been wearing the prostate cancer man because I saw Jeff Stellan and everybody wearing it. And, I wore it because I was making a statement, not because I wanted to be like Jeff Stellan, but because I wanted people to be aware of prostate cancer, not knowing what was going to happen. Then I uh, went to my doctor, uh, who saw me pretty quickly, and had a PSA test. PSA test was, was high. The doctor straight away put me on to, well, he sent me to a consultant, and they put me on to a fast track uh, cancer program and I had all the tests done within three weeks and that led up to me sitting opposite my consultant uh, with my wife and with the consultant's secretary sitting there support nurse and him just saying to me it's not great news Morris I'm afraid if we don't get this cancer out you'll, you're going to die and that's exactly what happened you know that, that's the process so from and I think it was only around eight weeks. So after that, that initial sort of bombshell, uh, which I guess for the first sort of three or four minutes, uh, it, it, it kind of takes quite a bit of getting used to. Um, and I think my emotions went to my children and how each one of them would react when I told them, which I had to do, you know, what was going to happen. I was in hospital by, um, I think it was a couple of weeks. From start to finish, the clinical teams that I've, I've been, I've worked with were um, just incredible people. They had, they were professional, but they were friendly. They told me it as it was, because that's what I wanted. I didn't want it sugar it. I wanted to know that what was really going to happen here, you know, just tell me. And they were always there for an arm around the shoulder. They were always there to listen. I always got the direction that I needed to know. This is what we're going to do. This is why we're doing it. And this is what the outcome is going to be. There was a time when I went in about, I think, a year ago and he was sitting there and I hope you don't mind he was sitting there with a computer on with a graph that went like that a red graph and um, it looked pretty scary to be honest when I sat down so he says um, uh, he says I, I know this is going to look scary but it's not what it tells us is how far my PSA if any has increased over the last three years it had increased I went back he put me back to three monthly and the three monthly review them. The last two, three monthlies have been steady Eddie, you know. So I think you have to be aware of bumps in the road because there, there will be bumps in the road. But in terms of Sunderland Royal Hospital, my, my, my doctor, my consultant at Durham, um, NHS, life-saving. They're scared. They're scared in case somebody says, hey, thanks for coming on this cancer this cancer pathway. Um, yeah, you're right, you have got cancer, and if we don't get out, you're going to die. That's one thing they don't want to know, which is totally wrong. You know? But I understand that, right? Um, it's like playing football in front of 60,000 people. You've got to have the bottle to do it. The second thing is the, the pride and the masculinity of, I don't want to, you know, I don't want anybody sort of searching around down where I am, my private areas, and we don't want to be put in a position where we have to make decisions about our health, unless we have to, and that has to change. If 
I can get one person to go and get a PSA by talking to them, by doing this, uh, anything. You know, it's it's my mission for the rest of my life, however long I'm, I'm allowed to, to live here. Never mind about your pride, never mind about your fear, never mind about the fact that it may change your life, it will save your life. So the choice you've got is, you know, do I save my life or do I give it up? This isn't just about you. This decision that I made wasn't just for me because I ain't scared of dying. But I've got six kids, nine grandkids and a beautiful wife and they want me here as long as I possibly can be here. So if, I, if you don't get the test, I'm challenging you to stop being so selfish because this is no longer about you. It's about your whole family and people who love you. So please listen to what I'm telling you because this is real.